So Sandeep, 27 medals, 6 golds, 12 silver, 9 bronze, sounds great. And this happened at the Asian Athletics Championship in Bangkok where Team NNIS was there in full force. And they did a lot of good work. But more importantly for our viewers, they would want to know from you, what is the Where do we stand? And Asian Games and the Paris Olympics, what can our performance be? I think uh, if you just focus on the Asian Athletic Championships, uh, even previously, we've, we've done pretty well in these ones. Also, I think um, a lot of people wouldn't know, but and should know, is that Bahrain wasn't here, so they are the major middle distance, long distance people out there who would have picked up a handful of medals. So, them not being there also helps, you know, a lot. But overall, if you really look at it and divide it into throws, middle distance, long distance, the shorter, which we call the sprints, I think if you really look at it that way, then Sprints probably we haven't done well and I'm not very seriously looking at Yaraji's 200 meters silver because at the end of the day at the Asian level it is fine but to bridge the gap between the Asian level and the world level I think there's a lot of work still to be done. One would have to really look at the way she runs the hurdles where which is her main focus and her main event and I think that that is where probably she's going to be hitting the podium in the Asian Games. I honestly don't know how much improvement we can see when she goes to Budapest for the World Championships if she's going. Because when you look at a timing of 12.79, 12.80, closer to 13 seconds and then when you compare it to 12.12 which is the world record, you see a huge gap out there. So keeping all of this on the side, overall for India to finish third overall for our athletes to go there and pick up medals be on the podium which actually gives you traction not only in your own mind that okay I can still finish on a podium but also puts into perspective what the Athletics Federation of India is doing the high performance centers and the coaching systems that have come we, in. We will uh, come to that but what uh, <coughs> immediately I uh, would want to know from you is which we were discussing a little earlier are the areas of specialization. So you hold the point of view and quite a few other experts also are of the point of view that when it comes to the 100 to 200 meters race or the 400 meters, India doesn't stand much of a chance at the international level. And the reason is that where there is explosive strength, ki hoti hai, jahan speed, ki hoti hai, jahan agility, ki hoti hai, hum log utna बढ़िया नहीं कर सकते जहां हम कर सकते हैं वो है मिडिल डिस्टेंस रनिंग वो इसलिए क्योंकि वहां दिमाग की जरूरत होती है स्ट्रेटजी की जरूरत होती है तो इसमें क्या हम माने कि 100 200 में दिमाग की जरूरत नहीं होती नहीं आई मीन उस तरह से नहीं बट इफ यू रियली लुक एट द वे द ट्रेनिंग शेड्यूल इज ऑफ 100 मीटर स्प्रिंटर इट इज नॉट दैट टैक्टिकल एट द एंड ऑफ द डे आपका स्टार्ट हाउ यू डू द मिडिल पोर्शन व्हिच इज द 50 टू 60 मीटर एरिया एंड देन हाउ यू फिनिश doesn't require huge amount of tactics and the if you if you look at the 100 meters in women's on a world level everything flows from 10.7 onwards to 11.20 okay you come to india then you start feeling the gap somebody's running 11.20 11.24 okay 11.20 nobody's run 11.24 and then onwards 11.30 11.35 11.40 11.45 11.50 so there is nothing tactical about it. It is just that, do you have the force? Do you have the power? Do you have that much of strength in your body, your upper body especially? But look at, look at some of the, the Jamaican women who are brilliant uh, in the world, who are dominating in the 100, 200 meters or whatever I have seen and the world has seen. So they are very slight. They are not the huge Amazonian women uh, and they are not even like the Europeans. But the kind of speed and power they have, is it genetic? Is it training? Is it nutrition? I think it's all the three. I think a lot of science also comes into it, which we are missing completely at, at that particular level. That's one reason. Yeah, good and point. I still go back to a particular book by Richard Moore, who actually sat in Jamaica and wrote one. Though he also tilted the book towards a different area, which we shouldn't be speaking about right now. But he did say that they have evolved a process. They have definitely have evolved a process. It may not, everything may not be coming out of a lab. But at the end of the day, now they have the people who are the catalysts, you know, whether 
whether it's been Usain Bolt right at the top of the heap, but there's a whole line of sprinter champions that they have produced. So there is something that's happening out there. At the same time, I think when you speak about, when you spoke about the middle distance, which is mind, skill, talent, a lot of stuff goes in. I think <clears throat> we have had a long history there, you know, right from Shivnath Singh, you know, all of those people have been running and running brilliantly at the Asian level. So I think that gap that only needs to be bridged in which Adil and everybody at the AFI must be thinking and would have been thinking all these years is how to take that one step that goes to the world final. Podium, let's not think too much about it, but, but a world final is required. I think that's where the focus should be. And for that, uh, our athletes have to repeatedly uh, not only try and compete overseas, but also do quite a bit of their training overseas like Neeraj has done? I think that is probably a, if you can call it a grey area, I don't know what the AFI would call it because everything honestly is not in their control as to how many athletes can go out or whether they have the funds that can keep having an athlete outside. Avinash has been doing it off play. I think he ran a brilliant race only a couple of days back or yesterday yeah. night or something. So he's, I think, world ranking. If you really look at it, he's at level 11 right now, which means great chance to be in the final at Budapest. Neera Chopra is a classic example. But yes, for people and runners and athletes like Yaraji and the rest, I do feel high performance centers in India do help out. But I think at the same time, you need to go to Europe. You need to compete. Because if you're not going to compete at the top level, you're not going to understand who you're competing in, which is, which is one. You're not going to be competing under different conditions, which happens all across Europe. And also now the Middle East is a, is a happy hunting ground in that sense for a lot of Middle East runners. So I think one needs to constantly go to the Diamond League, go to, go to the B and the C grade tournament, I mean, the athlete meets also. Because the more you run, the more you compete, the more confident you get. So what uh, is the gap in competing overseas? Because you, are, we have a Prime Minister who is very keen on sport, who uh, calls in tracks with all uh, our athletes whenever they win or they don't win, who console them. Just as they said, Indian hockey women uh, players ko bhi dekho, rona nahi. Aur, matlab, wo ek bahut bonding karte hai, kamal ki baat hai. Lekin, ये भी इंश्योर कराते होंगे स्पोर्ट्स मिनिस्ट्री पे प्रेशर डालता होगा कि प्रधानमंत्री इतना इंटरेस्ट ले रहा है शायद पहली बार एक ऐसा प्रधानमंत्री आया जो इतना इंटरेस्ट लेता है तो पैसे की भी कोई कमी नहीं है तो इंटेंट की कमी है या क्या प्रॉब्लम है आई मीन व्हाई बिकॉज़ दिस पॉइंट कम्स अप रिपीटेडली दैट वी डोंट कंपीट अनफ ओवरसीज नो आई आई थिंक आई थिंक द साई प्रोबेबली डिसाइड्स दिस विद द स्पोर्ट्स मिनिस्ट्री एंड ऑफ कोर्स द एफआई आल्सो हैज अ कॉल एंड सो हु टू सेंड and and you saw that in avinash's case he was he was told you don't have to compete at the asian athletics because you are qualified you have reached a particular level where uh, you know i'm not saying that if he if he comes to the asian athletic championships he's going to lose some portion of his timing not that way but if he's got a better competition in europe you might as well be there and I think that is the case where the AFI needs to pick up. So if they pick up Yaraji, for example, then you need an entire schedule. Okay, where you're going to compete? Who's the coach with you? Who's the science expert with you? Who's the team that is going with you? Because it's a team of five, six people. You know, just going with a coach, I don't think really helps. You need everything out there. So that they also learn when they watch the other competitors, other teams also working out there under different conditions. I think that is where you need to take out your top eight, top ten runners or athletes or throwers as, as what you will call it and then put them and say okay this is your two year program you're going to be in Europe you're going to be competing here 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 and at the same time you want to compete in India also because you're required here and then see how the progress goes if there is progress you know you you know what you what you require to be able to bridge that gap that we have been talking about between the Asian and the world level. और ये भी फायदा होता होगा कि अगर जितना कोई जैसे स्प्रिंटर ले लीजिए 100 200 400 मीटर में बाहर दौड़ रहा है तो वो एलिमेंट ऑफ फियर उसके दिल से चला जाता है उसके बगल में एक चैंपियन का आगे खड़ा हो गया सडनली एक हीट्स uh, में ओलंपिक्स में तो उसकी आधी जान तो वहीं सूख जाती होगी आई थिंक द क्लासिक एग्जांपल अगेन इज अविनाश हुज बीन रनिंग सो फ्रीक्वेंटली एट द वर्ल्ड लेवल दैट नाउ ही प्रोबेबली लुक्स एट बकाली एंड फील्स कि मैं भी बकाली बन सकता हूं यू नो द वर्ल्ड एंड द ओलंपिक चैंपियन आई मीन that that exactly is what happens i mean you see other sport also doing it the same way now that you know unless you go and compete with the top 10 top 20 in the world you will never be able to understand 
what happens when you're defeated and why with data and analytics and also you'll never understand why did you win a particular match because then you're unable to figure out the gaps if you're yeah. going infrequently if you go frequently you know what's going right and you also know what's going wrong let's come to a few names as to who uh, are the ones to watch out for because hamari janta ye janna chahegi ki bhai aage medal kon jeetega kyunki hum ek waise bhi medal obsessed nation hai medal na mile to lagta hai ki sab kuch bekar tha itna paisa stadium duniya bhar ka taam jaam to wo naam pe aate hain yara ji ka aapne bar bar naam liya to yara ji to hai hi hai fir tur hai fir abu bakar hai priyanka goswami hai तो ईस्ट टाइप के जो एथलीट्स हैं इनको कहा जाए शायद वी कॉल देम दैट दे आर आर इमर्जिंग स्टार्स एंड दैट इज वन बेनिफिट ऑफ बैंकॉक बेनिफिट्स आर देयर बट टू से दैट दे आर इमर्जिंग स्टार्स वुड प्रोबेबली बी स्ट्रेचिंग स्ट्रेचिंग इट अ लिटिल बिट अगेन आई जस्ट से देयर इज अ ह्यूज डिफरेंस बिटवीन 12 12 एंड रनिंग 13 एंड 100 हर्डल्स दैट शुड नॉट बी एंड विल नॉट टेक अवे फ्रॉम द फैक्ट दैट यारा जी इज मैसिवली टैलेंटेड now how the system works in a favor to be to be able to bridge that gap is exactly what is required but yes if you like tour if you throwing 20 plus i think you still need to throw 21 plus and consistently to be able to win look at the top 6 runners look at the top 6 throwers look at everybody and look at neeraj chopra the reason why he is winning gold and silver consistently is because he is number one trains abroad which is point one and the other is that he is constantly looking for competition if you want to give yara ji and the others competition in asia alone then i think you probably not stretching them that far that they can be stretched as athletes as sports persons एक बार याद आता है मुझे एक अवार्ड फंक्शन पे हमारे शत्रुघ्न सिन्हा साहब थे जिनकी बनती नहीं थी अमिताभ बच्चन साहब से अमिताभ बच्चन ऑडियंस में थे पहले रो में तो उन्होंने बड़े स्टाइल से कहा कि अगर अमिताभ बच्चन कलाकार बन सकता है तो कोई भी बन सकता है अब ये बात मैंने कुछ हैरानगी हुई जान के कि नीरज चोपड़ा के बारे में कई लोग कहने लगे हैं कि अगर नीरज चोपड़ा बन सकता है तो हम क्यों जैवलिन थ्रोअर नहीं बन सकते तो कैन यू पुट दैट इन कॉन्टेक्स की देखो बॉस हर एक को हर एक इंसान अमिताभ बच्चन नहीं बन सकता हर एक जावलिन थ्रोअर नीरज चोपड़ा भी नहीं बन सकते पर सवाल ये भी है ना कि नीरज के जीतने के बाद अब सोनीपत हो पानीपत हो अलग डिस्ट्रिक्ट हो इस देश में इवन ओडिशा किशोर जैना फॉर एग्जाम्पल सब में ये विश्वास आ गया कि एटी प्लस अगर मैंने कर दिया तो मैं 85, 86 से जा सकता हूँ यू नो द बेस्ट पार्ट अबाउट जैवलिन इज दैट द मोमेंट यू हिट 84 एंड 85, फाइव देन इट्स लाइक यू नो वो कहते नहीं है कि आपने पहला लाख बना लिया तो फिर दस भी बन जाएंगे फिर एक करोड़ मुझे तो अभी भी इंतजार है पहला लाख ही नहीं बनता है चलिए कोई बात नहीं तो आप उसको जैवलिन के परस्पेक्टिव में ले आइए तो अगर आप एटी कर रहे हो जो कि एक्चुअली नीरज के साथ ही था उसका फर्स्ट यू ट्वेंटी आई थिंक वॉज एटी सिक्स एटी सेवन प्लस और समथिंग but then the subsequent throws were consistent enough to be there i think that is what most of these boys are now thinking whether it is dp who recently won a silver here and the other ones that if neeraj is doing 88 89 he's not done 90 plus yet but he's the number one thrower in the world then if i am doing 84 85 then there is hell of a good chance for me to go 87 88 because what what does it require it requires science it requires decent amount of training and a terrific coach i think if these three things fall into line and and it's been proved now for the last 4 5 years that if your processes in coaching are set you got a good guy out there who understands everything that's happening in the world as well as with the athlete then this gap can be done which also the asian games which will be the next test for all these athletes uh, to perform and like we all know that asian games is um uh, in this uh, region it would be where every uh, nation all the members will throw in their best so what kind of medal tally can india expect and then how does that translate into the biggie which is going to be the paris olympics next year again the world and the world athletic championships purely looking at track and field paris olympics purely looking at track and field not much of a chance except one or two when i say one or two i only mean neeraj and probably abhinash to an extent the rest i don't think are still there to be able to get into a top 6 position a top 8 positions to walk into a final where you still have a great chance of doing something extraordinary 
Asian Games, I think you just might see almost the same number of medals or probably more because at the Asian Games, even with most of the top countries out there, including Bahrain and everybody else, I think you would be really doing well if you can equal what you've done at the Asian Athletics. I think, but it there is a lot of hope out there for a lot of these top athletes to do well. Maybe a quick discussion only here. We'll do a more detailed one later, which is that what does sport mean in India? Let's not talk about cricket, where the big bucks are. Let's talk about athletics, track and field, and you know uh, these um, the genres involved there. And so, why do people get in? एक तो पैसा कुछ ढंग का मिल जाता है. दूसरा सरकारी नौकरी मिल जाती है. तीसरा एक ढंग की गाड़ी और घर मिल जाएगा. ये aspirations होती हैं. Anything above that. is limited to a very few so that mindset needs to change and who are we to talk about uh, how and when that mindset will change but the the danger behind that is recently we had a report that 50 indian athletes who were booked for doping in the sense that they tested positive there was uh, that the suspension which is for a while and some of them were banned or have been <coughs> banned for 3 years you know that like the back of your hand so is that inevitable and is that people want to take any kind of risks and also we can share that uh, some of our uh, nns team members went and covered certain athletic trials and they saw syringes lying in the uh, bathrooms so it's quite an open secret i think uh, you got to be very very strict with what we now call as the doping disciplines out there but you know i i'm not going to say this because a lot of athletes don't even take it or even if it's again it's we come back to that science how to dope and what is that that is required to become a top nation now that is a very different discussion which goes into an area where you just might be stepping into something which is which might put off a lot of people in the sense you know legally and otherwise but i think by the time an indian athlete and let's be specific about indian athletes by the time he hits 21 22 he exactly knows where he's headed for he exactly knows whether he's going to get on to an asian athletic podium or an asian games podium or even be selected for a world athletics or an olympic games team because these four take you into a very different category the jobs and all are very secure there you also know that the more medals you get the better you get <clears throat> for the rest it is always about somehow trying to win a national championship podium 1 2 3 because that is where salary hikes that is where jobs promotions and jobs are there and that is that one area where an athlete believes ki main asian games ki team mein shayad nahi ja paunga mere se zyada talented athletes hain to kya main national championships ke podium pe aa jaunga to main ye itna secure kar lu i think that is where certain weaknesses come in certain coaches which we never look at because i do believe that if you want to suspend an athlete you have to suspend the coach the day the so system which, which doesn't happen here doesn't happen here the day the system starts suspending the coach the coach is going to check every time what you have i think that is the requirement yes you might at some point of time have classic examples where the coach probably didn't know but i think that goes with the territory you want to take clear the whole system out you need to suspend athlete plus the coach because the coach is also responsible for your intake if he is responsible for your training he does understand to a large extent what you're also taking in in terms of what you're drinking what you're eating and all of that i think that is the gray area where india especially has not worked on uh, last point is our team members in bangkok they spoke to a couple of uh, well known coaches of the record and they said are yaar hum to usko dekh ke bata sakte hain ki kisne liya hai kisne nahi liya hai kiska huliya badal gaya hai kiske दाढ़ी मूछ निकल आई है ऑल दैट काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स सो आई मीन बिसाइज द जोक एस्पेक्ट आई मीन इट्स क्वाइट अनफेयर टू समवन लाइक यू सेड हु डजंट डू बट इट्स एन ओपन सीक्रेट इट इज एन ओपन सीक्रेट बट एट द सेम टाइम इट इज सो डिफिकल्ट टू पिन पॉइंट एंड से सम एक्स डोप्स एंड एक्स डजंट डोप बिकॉज दीज आर अगेन एज वी से दीज आर एरियाज वेयर यू नो एक्शन कैन बी वेरी इजिली पुट ऑन सम वन यू कैन इजिली पुट अ क्वेश्चन मार्क because you really don't know no i mean for people who put question marks i really don't think they even understand 30% of athletics or 40% of how doping happens but at the same time before media especially if before you start putting question marks 
try and understand the depth, try and understand what really goes into this whole thing. I think the moment we get that whole thing, you know, where you understand why all of this happens on a particular scale, I think that's the moment you'll realize why doping happens, how it can be eradicated and why it's not being eradicated. Okay, we'll leave it at that and it's interesting to know that there are a couple of athletes who can do very well uh, on the world stage. So, we should look beyond, like you said, Neeraj Chopra and Avinash Sable. Let's look at uh, the, the other genres and um, also ensure the point that you are saying repeatedly that they must compete with the best in the world. Sure. And they have to go out there and they need to be provided with some terrific coaches and that's the way to go. So, thanks for watching. We'll be back with lots more later. Bye-bye.